The movie begins a decade earlier in Rio de Janeiro. Hernan Reyes, a criminal leader portrayed by Joaquin de Almeida and his ruthless son Dante, played by Jason Momoa, eagerly anticipate the arrival of Dom, portrayed by Vin Diesel, and his team. The crew engages in a daring robbery in the streets of Brazil, with Dante and his father relentlessly chasing after them. Eventually, they reach a bridge where Dom decides to stay behind and ensure Reyes's downfall, while Dante is unintentionally pushed off the bridge and falls into the water. In present-day Los Angeles, Dom is teaching little Brian, Leo Abello Perry, how to drive. They then head home for a barbecue, as Abuelita Toretto, portrayed by Rita Moreno, has arrived for the gathering. Upon returning home, they join the rest of the family, including Letty, Michelle Rodriguez, Mia, Jordana Brewster, Taj, Chris Ludacris Bridges, Roman, Tyrese Gibson, Ramsey, Natalie Emanuel, and Han, Sung Kong. Abuelita gives a speech, followed by everyone enjoying a meal and discussing a heist planned for Rome, supposedly organized by a character known as Little Nobody, played by Scott Eastwood. During the night, Dom shares with Letty how little Brian claimed not to fear anything, but deep down he fears losing his family. Shortly after, Cypher, Charlize Theron, appears at their house, beaten and bloodied. Dom and Letty hide little Brian and confront their enemy. Cypher reveals a bigger problem approaching in the form of Dante, who had infiltrated her facility, killed two guards, and kidnapped the loved ones of Cypher's henchmen. This act forces the henchmen to switch loyalties, enabling Dante to target DOM Cypher departs after taking her hacking technology, leaving the remaining henchmen behind to eliminate her. Cypher fights her way out, descends an elevator shaft with one final henchman, and arrives at the Toretto home. Dom and Letty reach out to Little Nobody, who promptly sends agents to apprehend Cypher. They discovered that the Rome heist was actually orchestrated by Dante, prompting them to fly to Rome. Meanwhile, Taj, Roman, Ramsey, and Han find themselves transporting a large bomb on the streets. Dante hacks into their trucks, causing them to veer into traffic, with the intention of delivering the bomb to the Vatican. Dom, Letty, and Little Nobody intercepts their allies, taking them underground, while Dante attempts to detonate the bomb, intending to destroy them all. The bomb starts rolling downhill through the hills and streets, while Letty pursues Dante, only for him to escape and for her to be arrested. Dom catches up to the bomb and uses a crane to divert it away from the Vatican's path, resulting in a significant explosion that causes widespread damage. The gang is labeled as terrorists and goes into hiding, while Dante boasts to Dom about tearing his family apart. At the agency, the new director, Amaze, Alan Richson, meets with Tess, Brie Larson, Mr. Nobody's daughter, Kurt Russell. Amaze, believing that Nobody was too lenient with the Toretto gang, presents their history of street racing and global heists. Tess argues in their defense, highlighting their accomplishments in taking down dangerous criminals. Despite her efforts, Amaze persuades the rest of the agency's board to pursue the gang. The media then brands the gang as international terrorists, leading Roman to bring Taj, Ramsey, and Han to London. Mia is caring for little Brian when a team of mercenary agents from the agency storms in. Mia tries to fight them off while little Brian hides. They are eventually rescued by Jacob, played by John Cena, who was contacted by DOM. Jacob dispatches the villains and instructs Mia to find a safe place with Brian and the children, while he ensures little Brian's safe return to Dom. Tess tracks down Dom in Brazil and reveals Dante's identity, explaining why he is targeting DOM. Dom seeks help from Tess to clear their names and secure Letty's release, as she has been taken to a secret agency base. Tess devises a plan to facilitate Letty's transfer from the base to another location, creating the illusion that Letty is attacking her. Dom attends a street racing event to meet Diogo, accompanied by a woman named Isabel whom he knows. Dante unexpectedly arrives and challenges Dom to a race, with Diogo and Isabel joining in. 
During the race, Dante forces Dom to choose which of the two will die by setting up bombs beneath their cars. Dom tries to slow down Isabel, causing Dante to detonate the bomb under Diogo's vehicle on the track. Dante then attempts to target Isabel, but Dom manages to knock the bomb off her car, causing her to crash. Dom rescues her from the wreckage while Dante escapes. Meanwhile, the rest of the group meets Ramsey's old hacking acquaintance, Bowie. They retrieve a file revealing that Dante is using Ramsey's surveillance system, God's Eye, to target people close to DOM. Dante drains their funds, but Roman has secured some cash. With no other choice, they seek out Deckard Shaw, who initially believes Han is there to fight him but is interrupted by the arrival of more agency goons. Shaw eliminates the attackers and learns from Ramsey that his mother, Magdalene, is among Dante's potential targets. He leaves to protect his family, while the rest of the gang finds transportation for their safety. Letty wakes up in an agency facility where she encounters Cypher. They work together to overcome the guards and escape. During their escape, a fight erupts between Letty and Cypher, resulting in intense physical combat. After regaining their senses, Letty tries to leave without Cypher but realizes they are in an Antarctic facility. Jacob develops a bond with little Brian and disguises himself to avoid suspicion. While boarding a plane, a flight attendant who is Jacob's friend alerts him to the presence of three of Dante's goons. Jacob incapacitates them and has the flight attendant hide their bodies. He and little Brian then board a secret jet bound for Brazil. Isabel wakes up in Dom's apartment, previously shared with Elena, who turns out to be Isabel's older sister. Isabel expresses feelings of inadequacy compared to Elena and wonders if the wrong sister died. Dom assures her that it is not the case. With Isabel's assistance, they locate Elena's old files on Dante and discover a property connected to him, linked to an abandoned police station. Dom visits the station and finds numerous videos and recordings depicting him and his family over the years. Dante taunts Dom over the phone about inflicting suffering before he dies, all while observing Isabel from a distance. A maze arrives to arrest Dom. During Dom's transport over the same bridge where the heist took place, Dante bombs the convoy. A confrontation ensues on the bridge as Tess and Amaz attempt to apprehend Dante and his goons. However, Dante's sniper incapacitates Tess and Amaz, leaving Isabel, who has been kidnapped by Dante, in his crosshairs. Dom saves Isabel from harm, while Dante retrieves God's eye from Tess, revealing that Dom's son can now be found. Dante escapes, and Isabel ensures Tess's safety while Dom races to locate little Brian, with a maze assistance. Dante tracks Jacob and little Brian's location, but Jacob is prepared with a vehicle armed with cannons, eliminating Dante's goons. As little Brian tries to help, Dante seizes the opportunity to snatch the boy from the car. Jacob alerts Dom before he can reach his brother. Dom is dropped from a jet in his car, and two of Dante's sniper helicopters shoot harpoons at the vehicle. However, Dom drives off the bridge, causing the helicopters to collide and explode. Jacob sacrifices himself by flipping his bomb-filled car onto Dante's incoming goons, going out in a tragic yet epic blaze of glory. Dom reaches Dante's car, rescuing little Brian and transferring him to his vehicle. Dante deploys two oil tankers in an attempt to ram Dom and little Brian over a dam. Dom drives the car down the dam while the tankers explode, forcing him to activate the nitro boost to outrun the ensuing fireball. Just when it seems like Dom and little Brian are safe, a plane carrying the rest of Dom's gang is hit by a missile ordered by Amaze, who has been collaborating with Dante since the Rio heist. Dom witnesses his friends crashing into a mountain. Dante declares that Dom has endured enough suffering and proceeds to set the entire dam to explode within seconds. Dom can only look at his son fearfully. 
Back in Antarctica, Letty and Cypher emerge from the facility and witness a massive submarine emerging from the ice, piloted by a seemingly alive Giselle. Letty watches in shock while Cypher appears to have planned for this all along. During the credits, a group of cops swarm and abandon Dante's facility. One of the officers answers a ringing phone, hearing Dante's voice indicating that he is the next target, as he executed his father on a fateful day. The officer is revealed to be Luke Hobbs, who simply tells Dante, I'm not difficult to find, you son of a bitch, before crushing the phone to dust. What do you think about Dante and Tej in the movie? You can drop your comments below in the description area. Did you like this video? If you did, kindly don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notification for more action and other interesting movie recaps on this channel.